Chapter 7, A March in the Snow. Lieutenant Colonel Vault, sir. Reporting in. Hmm. The scouts just got back from Einhem. There's no sign of any Federation soldier stopping by since the Battle of Zephal. Really? I figured they'd be aching for some new supplies by now. Well, we have been pursuing them. Maybe they went straight past the city to keep their momentum, sir. Or maybe they crossed the mountains to the west. And their tanks, sir? That would just slow them down, wouldn't it? Could always abandon them if they're in a hurry. If their drivers are good, it's not impossible. Then should we head to the mountains? But HQ's orders are to march south. <laughs> you are still listening to them. We're Ausbrook, my friend. They know they can't take us. But we can't keep disobeying all our orders. They'll look the other way. They need me too much. <laughs> Besides, a man's no good if he lets a lover give him a slip. So, let's pick up the chase. We're moving out. Yes, sir! It won't be long now, so mate. The Battle of Ziegfall wasn't that long ago, but our victory feels so distant now. We've been marching along this mountain road without any semblance of cold weather equipment. It's cold, treacherous, and exhausting. Our formation's been broken for a while. We had a couple soldiers collapse. They're only walking now with support from their friends. Everyone can feel it in the air. Sooner or later, we're gonna start losing people. All we can do is keep moving forward. Anything to fend off frostbite. To stay alive. No one speaks. The silence is deafening. <laughs> Riley, are you okay? Sorry, guess I tripped on the snow. Riley, she's exhausted. It's starting to get to her. I've got to take her mind off it somehow. Oh yeah, Miles, isn't your hometown in the mountains? Yeah, we only got snow every now and then. But I'm used to mountain roads like this. Hometown. Huh. I've never been to your region myself, so I don't know much about Hoffen. But we rely on the Hoffen as a tank, right? So, the name Hoffen kind of feels like home to me too at this point. <laughs> Say that again after you've been there. It's a boring, cramped armpit in the middle of nowhere. Everything closes at 10 goddamn p.m. And the women? Oh, man. They go right for the throat. Funny. I remember people singing songs about how beautiful and gentle Hoffen women are. <laughs> but I tell ya... Uh... Yeah. Hoffen women. Got it. You know... 
I've been thinking I want to rebuild the Miller Company in Halfin someday. The factory up and running, or the mansion next door. That was the dream for a blue-collar family like us. All right, and you can be factory manager, Clyde. Huh? Hey, hold on. What? Too good to work in my factory? Is that it? No, that, that's not what I meant. I, I'm, I'm just not very good with machines. Don't worry. You can leave the mechanical side to me. I'll be the badass foreman, obviously. And if any jokers get out of line, I'll whip them back into shape. I'll bake. There's an oven there for the rag night, after all. <laughs> Sounds good. I'd be glad to have you all. All right. Now I got a job lined up after I leave the army. No one goes hungry at the Miller Company. <sighs> I hope I get to visit Hoffman soon. It won't be too much longer. Once the war's over and things are back to normal. <clears throat> We're under attack! Damn it! They're still following us? I can't get in touch with any squads ahead or behind us. Everyone's engaged with the enemy. We're cut off! Everyone, just calm down. They want us to panic. Squad E, prepare to intercept. We'll find a way through. Claude, I've got a situation report for you. Let's go. Alright, I'll do something out there. Can't wait! Let's do it. We're going to get through this. Together. We need to move quickly if we want to make it through the mountain path. Let's go, everyone! Advance and intercept the Imperials coming from the rear. We have to cross the pass and join the main force. There's a fork in the road ahead. Which way do we go? It looks like either could get us through the pass. Do we move as a group or split up the squad? That's a tough call without knowing what's ahead. But we don't have time to hesitate. Keep moving and be ready for anything. Too damn cold. I know I just gotta get through it, but willpower can only take a guy so far. I know. Right now, the cold might be more dangerous than any of the Imperials.
Push the enemy down the valley. Okay, moving out. I will see this through. There they are. Flank the enemy on that bridge. They're on to you. There they are. There they are. Okay, moving out. I will see this through. Beat this! Enemy sighted! Fire! Nice shot. Yep, I'm on it. Whoa, what the hell was that? I've read that sounds in the mountains might signify an avalanche coming. There's enough snow piled up. It's a distinct possibility. We'll have to either hide and wait it out, or charge through the most dangerous spots before it hits. Either way, we know it's coming now. We need to act fast. Yep, I'm on it. Here it comes! All allies have been taken out! Found him! He's coming! Found him! Found him! Moving out. Justice prevails!
careless. No way. Reinforcements? No matter how many imps I kill, they keep popping back up. Now we gotta deal with this pincer attack crap? This is bad. There must be a lot of them after us. If we try to engage them all, we'll never make it out. Focus on the enemies in front. Move as fast as you can! We need to shake our pursuit! Okay, moving out! of anything. on 
Defense. We have to endure this. Yep, I'm on it. Calm down. We need to press it. Damn it. Ambush. What do we do, Claude? Maybe we can use those Ragnite boxes. The explosion itself doesn't have to hit them. We can cause an avalanche with it. It could take them all out in one fell swoop. I can probably get close enough to snipe the box from that little side path. Okay, that's the new plan. I'm counting on you. They're in range. They're firing on us! Keep firing! They got you on this side! Squaddy, here are your orders. Check all vehicles for damage and repair what you can. Uh, 
Yep, I'm on it. Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. The flat! Looks like we finally shook them. Good work, everyone. Come in, Squad E. This is Lieutenant Victor of Squad F. Minerva, are you okay? Yes. We made it through somehow. But we're not out of the woods yet. You're right. We need to group up as soon as possible. No. Not in these mountains. The more of us there are, the quicker the Imperials will find us out here. Each squad should cross on their own. Then we'll regroup with our reinforcements. Wait. Reinforcements? You heard me. Federation troops arrived on the coast. They're waiting for us at the target. Are you sure? How could they send reinforcements under these circumstances? Why else would they make us cross these mountains? They gave us orders for a reason. Good point. Understood. Heading for the rendezvous. Good. Get there as fast as you can. Don't die, Claude. Same to you. Let's both make it through this. Help's waiting for us. Just past these mountains. Uh, Hunter! <laughs> oh, it's just you. That's not funny! I almost shot you, you know. But it warmed you up a bit, right? Don't be stupid! Ugh, I felt my heart freeze for a second. Whoa, you really are freezing. Can you even pull the trigger with your hands shaking like that? I haven't been able to feel them for a while. Probably gonna be frostbitten by tomorrow. Ah, screw it. Here, have some of this. Wait, don't tell me you started a fire. What, you think I'm stupid enough to start a fire out here? Then where did you... Oh, God. You didn't do it in the tank, did you? Close. Dan's APC. If I did it in the Hoffin, Miles would have kicked my ass. You can't make a fire in an enclosed space. You'll run out of oxygen. Shh. Come on, just drink it. It's gonna be iced coffee soon if you don't hurry up. I... I guess so. Sorry. Wimpy, lukewarm coffee is all I got to offer right now. No, it's... just what I needed. Thanks, Raz. Scouts are late. Ought to be back by now. I wonder if something happened. I hope they didn't run across any Imperials. Nah, maybe if it was just Claude, but he had Kai with him. Claude's not the kind of guy to mess up like that either. I don't know about that. Riley. Hey, it was just a joke. I don't really think that. Then don't say it. Why are you giving me this? 
You joke around like that all the time. You can hide behind saying it was just a joke, but you know damn well if Claude heard that, it really hurt him. <sighs> damn it, Riley. Can't you just accept the guy already? I have. Oh, really? Otherwise, I wouldn't have come this far. And that goes for everyone in the squad, not just me. We've been retreating with barely any equipment or supplies, but not a single soldier is deserted. Claude's the one pushing this squad forward. He's the one keeping everyone together. Even I can see that. Huh, what do you know? You're paying attention after all. Well, good. Don't talk down to me like that. You're just like Kai. Hey, Kai doesn't talk down to people. She's just kind of blunt. Not a people person. Not her. I mean the real Kai. <sighs> you were closest to him, right? It feels so weird that he isn't here too. Yeah. I wonder what he's doing now. Hasn't Lena told you anything? Of course not. You think I could ask her that? Guess not. Found them. It's just like the scouts were telling us. A railroad and a freight train. Looks like a storage base for transporting supplies. They have a base of this scale all the way out here? Where are they sending all of it? The tracks go west. Looks like there's a tunnel. It goes through the mountains? But that means these supplies are bound for... Oh! Galia! It's a logistics base. They're supplying their invasion of Galia from here. What should we do? <sighs> Let's go back and meet up with the others. Last scouting trip, we discovered an Imperial storage base. They seem to be transporting supplies west. Most likely weapons and ammunition. The invasion of Galia. <laughs> so we're practically squatting on an enemy supply depot? Finally, it's our lucky day! Raz, I confirm the enemy's numbers myself. We're short on ammo and equipment. We don't have any of the other squads to back us up. What, so we can't win? Here's our shot at cutting off their Galleon pipeline. We can cut off their weapons. I get it. It's a good chance. I'd love to fight if we could. But what good could we even do? We're barely holding together. Claude, what do you think? Speaking as a commander, the safe choice is to keep moving toward our destination. I think we should attack the base, and it's not just about homelands or patriotism. If Galia falls, the Empire won't stop there. They'll use it as a foothold to keep moving west. We joined the army to protect what's important to us. And if we want to do that, someone has to take out that base. And that someone is us, huh? Do we even have a chance at beating them? We do. The base is in a valley in the mountains. If a strong wind comes, the snow will get whipped up. It should be enough for a minor blizzard. So we could use that as cover, and take them all out before they know what hit them. But that relies on the right wind, doesn't it? Are we supposed to just wait here until it changes? No. The wind's coming. 
time soon. Wind talk, huh? Well, if Claude says so, it's gotta be true. You're sure we can win this? Yeah, I know we can. Okay. Then let's get ready. We'll need to get as close as we can while we wait for the right moment. Understood. I'll get the Hoffman in position. We move out in ten minutes. Everyone get ready! Hey, wait! If you were gonna back down that easy, then why didn't you just agree from the start? I just wanted to hear him say it. As long as he tells us we can win, I'm willing to follow his orders to get us there. Huh. Guess you meant it after all. All right. I'm ready for a real rampage. Once I work up a sweat, I'm gonna forget all about this damn cold. Are you sure this is okay, Claude? We're going to be pretty late meeting up with the rest of the army. I'm already moving on. I can't afford to wait for everyone who shows up late. The armored rangers are the best of the best. We'll be fine without us. Okay. Let's win this, Claude. Yeah. Let's make sure we're on the same page. Dahlia. Time to go save our homeland. Take out the supply depot before they can use it against our homeland. Pregalia! Squad E, move out! get a drink after this. Wait, is that the Federation Army? We're under attack! Call reinforcements! Finally, the bastards noticed us. That does it for our surprise attack. Now we just have to finish up before their backup gets here. Taking this base will help everyone in Galia. We have to win this. coming on the next train, too! Good. Now we're taking the offensive. Those Federation dogs will regret crossing us! Enemy reinforcements confirmed! It's an armored train! Armored trains don't just bring more soldiers. They're also as strong as a tank. Keep an eye out for it while you're advancing. Keep firing! Commencing 
counterattack. Follow my lead. Okay, then. Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. Those armored trains are more trouble than I expected. We have to do something about them. Claude! Can we use that railroad switch over there? If we redirect the trains, then maybe... Of course. It might just work. Let's try it. any more in with that wreckage in the way. Those cowards! They're pushing their luck. Yes! That should stop the enemy reinforcements. Now we just have to capture the objective. What the hell are Federation soldiers One doing here? Me. I see. They're good. Damn it! I'm pinned down! I believe in you.
This will be over in no time. Hey, my people. What could go wrong? Eat this! It's over! Too easy. Go wrong. Engaging. Fire. This will be over in no time. All allies have been taken out. Now advancing.
have enough ammo and fuel left. All out. I don't give a damn! Yeah. <laughs> 
knocking. in order. Defensive formation. Race for enemy attack. up the excess supplies. We can't afford to take all this with us. A massive Imperial force is bound to show up any moment. We'll try and reclaim the base. If we destroy the supplies, they stay out of Imperial hands. 
Seriously? What a waste. All right. Make way, everyone. We're gonna send this payload sky high! <laughs> You certainly impressed someone in that last battle. HQ sent you something nice as a reward. Hey, you all look so beat up! We won! Just look at that! Those tracks go straight to Galia! Right back home. To Galia, huh? I wish we could go back. We will. Once the war's over, anyway. We shouldn't be too far from the rendezvous point now. Supplies and reinforcements. That was the plan, right? I'd kill for a warm jacket and some gloves. Red. And if it's not asking too much, butter and jam. If they came across the sea, it's probably a landing party from Edinburgh. That means the Federation hasn't given up yet. They're still reaching for the capital, huh? I don't know the details yet, but I think so. Well, come on, Claude, let's go! We can't just waste time sitting around. Rangers like us gotta... Raz, you sure you can walk? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Just slipped is all. Point is, we're the Ranger Corps. The big damn heroes. We gotta keep going and crush the Empire. Keep it together, everyone. Our goal is just up ahead. Now let's hustle. <laughs> side. They're waiting for us. here why why look over there the armored ranger corps they're all hey talk to me what the hell happened why is everyone dead ambushed by a tank platoon Ambush? Where'd they go? They're chasing a squad that ran. But they'll be back. Hurry and get out of here. Hey, hang in there, man. Look at me! Shit! 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 This can't be happening. Claude, is this why we came all this way? We crossed the mountains. 
We lost so many of our allies. For this? Crystal? Crystal? Minerva, you're okay. <laughs> Stay with me, Crystal! Commander... Don't worry, I've got you, okay? Just rest for now. I'm so glad... You're alright. What about... About our reinforcements? They're here, don't worry. Hundreds... Thousands of them. You can't hear them over the tide, but they're here. Don't worry, Crystal. The Federation is sure to win with this. I see. Victory. The glory you deserve. I made a vow. That's why I offered my life. That's right. You swore you'd stay with me as long as I was on the battlefield. It has been my greatest honor to keep that promise. Crystal. Crystal! been doing we've been fighting even outnumbered by tanks even underarmed even with no supplies we fought damn it and this this is what we got for it and now with the enemies gone and our blood in the snow now squad e strolls in crystal died because of you Squad F's blood is on your hands! just stood there in silence in shock there was nothing else we could do the morning sun had risen and none of us even saw the light all we saw was the majesty bearing down upon us <laughs> <laughs> 